8.30 a.m. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, today is my first AFL game. We're doing something before then. Um, I need to sleep earlier. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, because ho normally a hotel is like a bad connection, but this one, you know, upload a vlog in an hour, which is still long, but a lot shorter than a lot of hotels. So I thought I'd stay up and uh, <laughs> yesterday's vlog, get it all sorted and uploaded. And it was 2 a.m. I worked at 7, so that's, that's not enough sleep. And tomorrow I'm going to Tasmania, so... <laughs> I might need to edit to today's vlog in Tasmania, but you know, when I'm waiting for a plane or something. If you are just here for the AFL stuff, then I don't, I don't blame you for skipping. If you skip to the AFL a bit, that's fine. Um, but before then, we're going to Melbourne Zoo, and then we're coming back around to this area to do a couple cruises, maybe one. Depends on timing, actually, it could be just one, but at least one, maybe two, and then we'll be off to the MCG. So, yeah, if you want to skip all of that bit, it's fine. You can skip there. So, uh, yeah, anyway. I gotta get up to platform 11 to get a train to Upfield. That's Royal Park, it only takes 11 minutes to get here. But that's pretty good. Train station's right there as well. Train crossing. We don't have many of those in London, you know? We, I think we have more in the north of England, but we don't have many of those. So, like, I know America has plenty. Australia has quite a few as well. Anyway, um, I'm wearing a red shirt and this is an Arsenal hat, but it's close to the demons. I'm supporting the demons tonight, so that's why. Anyway, <laughs> it's gonna be a great game though. Two teams, one on great form, second versus third, rivalry. It's gonna be incredible. What a first game. Anyway, uh, the zoo's right there. This is nice, this is very convenient. This is definitely the most convenient zoo of the three, that's for sure. How early it was. I, I probably look very clean, but I'm just trying to get things, you know, I'm trying to get up in the morning and do everything as much as possible make the most of my day but I look very keen right now there's like five people here it's 8 53 it opens at nine I mean I guess I am quite keen but <laughs> yeah uh, let's see how the zoo is in about five minutes that wasn't even the main entrance that was the train entrance the station entrance which is the better entrance that's where I'm coming from that's where I'm going home well I'm not home the hotel but <laughs> but still um yeah there was a few people like there was a group of people but they were here for some sort of event so uh yeah it's just me and two people <laughs> that have come in so i walked in and and they're like you have a choice of three cashiers here <laughs> to, to get your ticket um anyway yeah um i'm gonna walk to the main entrance though because the map kind of goes from there and it will end back here so it kind of makes sense i'm not gonna stay for any talks or anything <laughs> as far as i know i mean there's a line one at 12a but I think by then maybe I'll be done uh, but yeah let's look around and uh, I'm here mainly to see the tiger I think because I've not seen a tiger yet so just show me a tiger in Australia that's bit at least for me anyway is actually you know right near the end of the zoo where I came in lions wild dogs tigers all in that area there so that's good that'll be the last thing it might be crowded by then though but still best for last best for last Let's look at some animals. Hopefully they're all awake, because I'm here quite early. But I don't think there's part of the zoo. I see a big white bird with a long, bendy, black beak. It looks terrifying. I hope it doesn't come towards me. It's so cute, man. In England, we know them as a uh, compared to market, those naked. They're hilarious. Quite in person as real animals. They're cute. Until I saw his head move, I didn't think he was real. I think they're very tired. It's early in the morning. He walked through the bushes. He scared me a little bit. How you doing, buddy? I'm not going to go too close. I don't drop my phone. This zoo easily has the best map. Like every route comes back to where you came from. So you can plan everything properly. It's a different type of lemma. the difference between gorillas and mobile phones they're calling on you is the answer apparently an experience thing you gotta you gotta get someone for i thought you'd just go and meet a gorilla <laughs> imagine that how many species of birds do you guys have like genuinely i see so many different types I haven't even seen magpies yet I think he's asleep. 
It said don't tap on the window, so I won't. I got this guy right here. He's just sitting right here. I want a woman. Um, she was in there just trying to leave food for one of them. There's no one, nothing in there though. There is, but I'm just going to see it. Is it always the tamarinds that don't come out? It's always them. Is that them? Are they there? Fancy. Ultimate Korea gardeners, apparently. Enjoying his meal. Quite a few animals having breakfast. Which is, which makes sense. <laughs> it's half nine in the morning. The otters are in there. We found one. We found one. How you doing, buddy? You good? There is a tiger here somewhere. I can't see him or her, but it's somewhere here. Well, that's frustrating. There's no, I, I, the tiger's not here. I might have to come back here. Well, he's he's awake. The way butterflies move scare me. They look great, but I am not going into uh, a little hut filled with them. No, no, thank you. So many of them. Dan sleeping. It's fine, but at least I saw them. Um, let me see if I can see red pandas. Hey, but I cannot see them. I can see them now. Into the wild sea section. Speaking of sea life, I want to go to Sea Life Aquarium, which is quite close to Southern Cross as well. It wasn't part of my to-do list, but it is now. I kind of want to go and see. Oh, I, I thought I saw something. It's just ducks, which are animals, but <laughs> I don't think they're part of the zoo. Is he trying to eat me? Hey, mate. I don't know if he's happy because <laughs> we don't know why animals do what they do. There's a few of them. Okay, there's a bit more than a few. This guy must be the king. Koala bear. Just going to stay there, just like the other zoo. Right. Right. Stay calm. That's me talking to myself, not them. They're looking at me as well. <laughs> My heart's racing a bit. I was, <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> this guy came out of a cave. I'm not saying I'm Batman, but you've never seen me and him in the same room, have you? He's still looking at me. He isn't. Oh my word. Jurassic World music. I have seen yet more kangaroos, mainly in zoos, but I saw some in the wild in Perth. But uh, I say in the wild, that's cemetery. But here are some more kangaroos are gathering. They're having a business meeting with that bird. This time it could go, could be more successful than yesterday. So yesterday's zoo vlog, then you might know what I'm referencing there. Wow, that is cool. As I got the camera out. Well, it's my phone. As soon as I got it out, this guy turned around. But this guy, he's all about the photos. Oh, yes. Oh, I found it. That's cool. Also, do you want to go see the lion? Oh, he's up his back there. See ya. Look no, that's a movie. Yeah, you did it before. Stand there, you can't get that. You're impressed by the reptile area. Like, it's just a small space, but there's so much in there. I don't, I don't even video everything. There's a lot in there. A lot of snakes mainly, but yeah, turtles, crocodiles. Pretty good. <laughs>
it's not bad for these like it's really small it's a little circle basically but there's so much in there love it anyway let's go to the best part the last part there's a tiger in there as well apparently so i might not have to go back to the elephant area to get to see a tiger but yeah there's lions wild dogs tigers other things so let's go in i love big cats i love big cats yeah i love them i mean like i like looking at them from a distance not actually no <laughs> getting close enough to touch one but they're incredible animals actually giant tortoises and a platypus somewhere down the road so there is still those but since lion gorge is right here let's go in Thinking by the fact there's a guy fixing something probably something electric i am assuming the lions are not actually in here so uh where are they there's apparently a giant water spider in there if it was so giant why didn't i see it that enclosure was so small i don't see a snow leopard <laughs> I've seen no big cats. What's going on? And there's another snake. The reptile section's over there, mate. Yeah, that's right. See? Oh, I can't tell you, dog. See? What a nice time to do in here. I don't think that's an actual roar. I think that might be a radio. Infected. New zombies map. Apparently they got a contagious cancer they can pass around and it's killing them off. It's very sad. I heard it yesterday at Hillsville. Um, can't see them here though. I think they're quite, sh they're usually quite shy. African wild dogs. I've seen them on YouTube. Trust me, they are wild. <laughs> they are insane, these lot. Like, they're getting huge packs. The way they attack their prey is scary. So I didn't see an Indian tiger. But I saw one here, <laughs> a different tiger, but a tiger. But it's lions I didn't see. Oh, saw some yesterday at least, but wherever they are, they're not in their closure, obviously. I mean, there's a man in there doing electric maintenance, so they wouldn't be in there with that. Um, yeah, apart from that, not bad. Just need to see where these giant tortoises and platypuses are, because they're not in an enclosure. They're like, they're, they're probably are, but like, they're not like part of a path. So I'm wondering where they are exactly. Oh yeah, I saw these at the start. Okay, I see. I've just seen the platypus sign, we're just around the corner, and then we're done. It's a quiet place apparently, but apparently they're invisible because I cannot see them. Where is, I mean, I don't know if it's them or one, but I cannot see a platypus anywhere. I don't even think I've just seen him. I think that's I went to the shop first because it was near the main entrance, and I thought I'd just go there and go through the whole zoo to the station entrance. But now I'm thinking about it, I. The thing I bought there as a souvenir was a lion keyring, and that's the only thing I didn't see. <laughs> it's kind of poetic and very, very much ironic. <laughs> but I'll see lions soon. I'll see a white lion in Canberra, so that's going to be something special. Something very special. It's like 11, 10 a.m. now, so I only needed like just over two hours. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to try and get to the river cruise area and see if I can get on an early cruise. I'm gonna try and ask if I can get in because there's like there's four cruises. Um well there's like five or six. One's a dinner cruise, one's a night cruise, so I'm not doing those. One goes to Williamstown and comes back. I'm not going that one. There's another one that goes like up river, one goes down river. I got a voucher for one. I'm gonna ask if I can uh, get a second ticket and do both. Yeah. If not, I'll just do one. And then I got most of the day before <laughs> the MCG, so I've timed my day a lot better today than yesterday, <laughs> but sleeping tonight is going to be a hassle because I'm going to have to wake up in the morning. Anyway, um, time to leave. God, there's a shop here as well. You can see that shop. Let me see if they sell any caps. You know I have to try it. There you go. That's a better souvenir than lion carrying, and I didn't see a lion. So the zoo's like in the middle of, you know, there's not much here. It's literally like a, a few steps to the train station and then 10 minutes train to the CBD. That's a leap. Feels like London Zoo. I feel like my phone battery goes down more recently. It's these Apple guys. Bloody, they, they realize there's still an iPhone 12 and they've got 14 coming out soon. They're like, we can't have this. We've got to drain his battery more. We've got some nice views. 
I'm trying to find this boat tour area. I can't find it. I was on the other side. I think I'm on the right side now. The license required for these. If I had someone to do with it, I would. But I think that's the cruise area right there. Yeah, we found it. I wonder what they meant by birth, like the name of a the place. They said birth too on the address. Now I know what they mean. Right, that's what is that what a birth is? The thing I've learned is barely anyone uses the Melbourne City Guard. I ordered that for a couple days so I can go to all three zoos, the sky deck and the cruise, hassle free. Just, you know, go in, just pay for a card and just go in. So the app wasn't working this weekend, so they emailed me a virtual card with a unique voucher code and emailed me instructions. So like if there's any issues, any issues just you go to contact this person that works there so uh yeah like when i went to werribee zoo they were very confused they were like they haven't seen these in ages um hillsville was all right they, they, they were fine melbourne it took a little while but it was fine um it took a while for them to find like where to enter that voucher specifically um for melbourne city cards uh sky deck was fine like sky deck i think i feel like someone told them about it because it, it was just completely fine and also Actually, at Hillsville, I think they had my name already. So, yeah, that, that was good. That they were told about it in, in advance. This one, the cruise, she was very confused for a while. Was just like, well, the, here's the virtual card. Here's the instructions. I was told to come, and if there's an issue, off the roof. Uh, but then eventually she realized, oh, there's a voucher code there. So, yeah, just type it in. Um, if I come back to Melbourne next time, I will not get a city card. Besides, if I can't come back to Melbourne again, I'm mainly prepared for it anyway. Um, I'm, mainly, I'm mainly doing the exploring when I come here now. I'm sure there's things to do, like there's Wilson's Prom, which is outside Melbourne. That was one thing that was recommended to me I'm not doing, because I, I don't have enough days to do it. If I had one extra day, I would have done it. But I've got everything planned out now. <laughs> um, so there's definitely things to do when I come back, and even in Melbourne as well. Uh, but by the time my two weeks are done, I'd have explored most of the things I wanted to explore. There's an issue with the river level, so they don't know which way the boat will go, um, the one that's next. So the down river's in doubt. So if it goes up river, that means that might be the only one I do. But if it goes down river and, and we come back, then I'll pay for an up river ticket, probably. And uh, then I'll do that. And then I guess I'll go back to my hotel before I head off the MCG, because that's it for the exploring part of the vlog. Tomorrow is Tasmania all day. And on Sunday, I'm going to the game at Marvel. And I think I might go to Sea Life and also the Sky Deck again during the day. Maybe like one before the game, one after the game. Probably the Aquarium first, then the game at Marvel, and then the Sky Deck, then go back to the hotel. Sunday's gonna be a chill day, I need it, because Monday, Monday onwards, I'm going on some big trips. Um, not every day, but I need to, it requires early mornings. So uh, on Sunday, I need a big rest. Um, so it's perfect. Afternoon game, early afternoon game, go to the sky deck, back to the hotel, easy doing. This is not the lowest bridge. The next silver one is. Due to the arch formation, we have to take it right in the middle, extreme high times. It's actually meant to be low tide in the next hour. Okay, of the Yarra River before these bridges were built. Eventually, it will look like the sheep wanted to increase his farmland, so he came up here on his own seats. So, the view of the Yarra River is worth $2 million. Anybody on the balcony using their $2 million view? They are inside another dock. They are inside Victoria Dock. Are an afterthought. Piece of artwork, if you like. There to make the bridge look pretty. At a cost of $40 million. You're in awe at how beautiful the bridge looks, aren't you? Yes, we love our artwork here at Melbourne City, right onto the water's edge. Marvel Stadium, our second biggest stadium in Melbourne. Over 50,000 spectators during the sports makes it an all-weather venue. Most common use of Marvel Stadium is Aussie Rules Football Team sign, the Goliath. This is a dry powder vessel, and that comes in various shapes. If they continue straight, 
and pick a few of the West Interrupted Views. Quite a fantastic postcard picture indeed. Well, thank you very much for listening. raining so maybe it's a night game tonight um, it's just past 3 p.m. so at 5 I'm going to leave and meet a subscriber and other subscribers help me out oh that's me behind another subscriber has helped me out uh, with a ticket to both Melbourne games next two rounds so uh, yeah I'm gonna sit in a uh, special area compared to normal tickets uh, but yeah it's great to have an invite to that I would have got a ticket anyway but obviously getting an invite so much more convenient uh, but yeah um, let me just edit as much of the vlog as I can in two hours. Maybe I can get it all done. Maybe it's, it's, it won't be as long as the last two vlogs. The last two vlogs involved airport vlogging as well. So this show shouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah, heading off to the MCG later on. Same vlog, of course. So uh, for me, it'll be in a couple hours for you in a couple minutes. Well, actually, a couple seconds. There's three hours until the game. Melbourne versus Collingwood. Big rivalry. Second versus third. The Magpies somehow despite being the weaker team of the two. Ten wins in a row, ridiculous. And this is my first ever A4 game, Friday night at the MCG. Wow, <laughs> just wow. I gotta go to the game, come back, go straight to bed. Tasmania tomorrow morning. But luckily I got most of the vlog, all the vlog until now has been edited. So now it's just a game bit. Edited at the airport in Tasmania tomorrow, I guess, and edit that vlog as well. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're on our way. Let's do this. I'm invited to sit in a special area with the Demons fans, so it's going to be good. I'm supporting the Demons today because I don't like Collingwood, and I quite like the Demons anyway, even though I'm an awful one fan. But I'm wearing a red shirt and a red cap. It's an Arsenal cap, but it's pretty close to Demons colours. So yeah, I'm going to go now. I'm, I'm going to meet uh, meet Cat at 5.30, so yeah, I'm going there a bit early. It's going to be fun, my first time at the MCG. So at least for a few hours, it's really nice to be able to leave my hotel on holiday and not have to carry around, carry around my backpack all day. Like, doing that is uh, very, very, uh, it's, it's just a bit tiring, isn't it? It just gets tiring going out all day also. What's not nice is it's raining, so, yeah. I feel like every time I start something, either <laughs> when I'm going somewhere, I'm just going to start it at the station so I'm across. I mean, it's near my hotel, so I would do that one time. Even the bus to the airport leaves from here. Phone's on 80%. More than enough. Should be anyway. Depends on the day sometimes. Well, well, well. Here I am for the first time. <laughs> on foot anyway. I went by on a boat earlier. Brilliant right. cricket, but that is an amazing statue. I could appreciate that.
I do know about Asport is I know who Shane Warne is. I know a few players. I know Shane Warne. And he's right here. Wow. Pretty cool. This is kind of surreal, you know. Like, this is my first time at the MCG. It's kind of mad. Like, this started in 2016 when I first got introduced to AFL. 2022, I am here about to watch a huge game on a Friday night at the MCG under the lights. Beautiful. Anyway, um, I think I need to get to Cape 3. I'm, I'm sitting with Melbourne fans. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I said I'd be there at half five and it's almost half five, so let me get there. Got ATMs here at the stadiums. Believe it or not, we don't have that in the Premier League. So, <laughs> we don't have ATMs at our stadiums. We have them like at shops down the road. <laughs> you, you guys are different here, in a good way. Gate three, I got a ticket for this museum after Hawthorne Richmond next week. So, yeah. <laughs> the Olympic stand 2006. Yes. I'll just open mine up on my wallet. <laughs> This is David's first ever game of footy. Yeah. <laughs> so he's taking it all so in. Channel 7 is right there. Yeah, Channel 7 is right there. You only say that at Melbourne home games. Half time, Melbourne are ahead. It's been a quite good game. I, I enjoyed that quite a lot, although these fans not as much. You guys shout on players a lot, but that doesn't just mean these fans, I mean like in general. And I know it's in when watching from TV, but when you're in there, there in person, the sort of name calling you here 
you guys love insulting the empires. And I, I love it though, I'm, I'm here for it. But, like, they're not making bad decisions every time. Um, the days have missed by a lot of chances. Probably they could have been a lot further ahead. And I want them to win, but I want a close game. The D's fans don't, but I do. <laughs> so secretly, I'm just like, oh no, Colin was scored. And I'm just like, you know what? Keep going, keep it close, keep it close. But yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. And at half time, we're switching. We're going somewhere else. I'm going to sit with the Melbourne cheer squad for the second half. So that should be interesting. Uh, but yeah, it's a good first experience. It's not a sellout, but there's still plenty of people here. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. Even though I'm supporting the D's, I'm just like, keep going. So just like this. Maybe a little bit closer, actually. I always hate losing to Collingwood, but what can you do? Yeah, I don't like him either, but it was a good game. For yeah, it was a good game. It was a good atmosphere game. and everything, but yeah. Thanks, thanks. Again. Thanks a lot. I'll see you again for the cast one. Will do. See you next week, mate. All the best. Yes, that's right, that's right, that's right. Catch my breath. You can't even see me. We're, we're talking a bit. Went to the wrong platform. Got to cross back over on another bridge. Silly me. Yep. I can finally breathe. My word, I got off on the wrong side. Someone crossed the huge station, as I already knew. I got off on the right. I went to the wrong exits. Damn it! Always me. Always me. Me. I couldn't move on that train back from Johnny One. I word. I managed to get on the first one somehow, even though I was behind like 10, 10, 10 queues of people. Um, it felt like London rush hour in the morning. Ridiculous. Anyway, uh, as as, it, as you would expect, 70k people trying to get on a train. It's, it's, it's gonna happen. Um, that was a good first game. Uh, I can't complain too much. I don't like Hollywood. I don't want them to win. And I backed Melbourne today. But, got a close game. And uh, Melbourne should have really won. They missed chances. Like, they themselves could have finished the game off. They didn't. <laughs> and Hollywood came back. Um, at the end, though, like the last quarter, one of Hollywood's goals, that free kick. You know what I'm talking about. It, it seemed pretty soft, at least from my point of view. And I was next to a lot of these fans, but there was Hollywood fans either side of us. He was out of the chair squad. It just felt pretty soft. 
I was on the other side of the field, obviously, at quite a low level, but it still felt soft. But yeah, Collingwood were better second half. Uh, Melbourne were better first half, but just didn't, didn't. They didn't do it. They had too many behinds. It's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, as a game though, that was good as a game. And Collingwood, 11 wins in a row now. They've gone on some mad run. Uh, and fair play to them. But yeah, uh, for Melbourne, there's a missed opportunity. And uh, they've been back to square one. Because after they beat through and Perth, they looked like they might be you know, back on track. Back to being what they were last year. But then again, even last year they lost to Collingwood, didn't they? There's something about Collingwood. When Essendon or, Mem or Melbourne play them, at the MCG, most of the time, the Magpies win. The Magpies just find a way. Maybe it's a mental block, but these made too many mistakes today, both offensively and defensively. So apparently in Aussie land, you guys love a Palmer with your beer or whatever. So I had a Palmer. You, you, you've seen a clip of it in this vlog uh, before the game at, at the Red Legs Club. There was there were like two AFLW players there as well doing a talk, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, Palmer's good. I can see why you Australians like it, the Palmer's a good, uh, <laughs> it's very filling. I could have finished my chips, but the Palmer was that good, my word. I don't need food again tonight. I'm going to go straight to bed. Tomorrow I'm going to Tassie. So, before I even get back to my hotel, because I'm good, just going to go straight to bed. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll try and get this vlog up on Saturday, but no guarantees, if not Sunday. Because I am going to Tasman all day tomorrow and I need to get up early, like really early. It's got 8 a.m. fly or something. So I need to get up for that. I can't edit this now. <laughs> I've edited most of the stuff before the game. But uh, yeah, unfortunately I can't <laughs> edit <laughs> the game part. But hopefully I can do it in Tasmania while I'm waiting for my plane. Um, and get it up for you guys. <laughs> I mean, you're seeing this when you're seeing this anyway. But yeah, it's good night for me. I'm going to get back to my hotel, <laughs> freshen up, go to bed, wake up very early. Freshen up again and uh, head off on the plane. I'm looking forward to it. My first ever Hawthorne game. And it's in Tassie, so uh, it's a good day trip. Gonna be out there all day. <laughs> so uh, I look forward to that. This is your boy Davidoff. He's like, yeah, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And good night. Thank you for the badge. Thank you for the scarf. And I appreciate the hat as well. <laughs> you can tell someone knows me well when they get you a cap. You just, they know the cap is just, it's just a Davidoff thing. Anyway, yeah, now it's goodbye.